Hello everyone. In the previous session, we learned about the read range and write range. Along with that, we have seen how to work with the data tables, right? But if you see on my screen that, you know, in the previous session that we have used student marks at the Excel as an input, and then we are reading the range from A1 to H5, and then we are going to give the message as message box reading has been completed. And the read range, by using read range, we are going to store the output in the data table. But we have not read this data table in this session, right? In the previous session. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, to read this data table in this session by using for each row activity. Now let me explain with the scenario. Now, if you see over here, I'm having student details, all the details along with the class and their respect to marks in their subjects, right? Now, if I want to read each and everything which we have you no know, stored in the data table, right? A data table works as a database or else, no, we can read as a, you know, simple in the rows and columns format as we have mentioned in the previous session. Now, I'm by using for each row, I'm going to read the data in the data table. Okay, I'm going to repeat you again. I'm going to read the data in data table by using for each row, every row that I'm going to read it in the data table. Now, what I'm going to do, so let me take a, one more sequence by clicking on add sequence. Now I'm giving the name as for each row activity. And then I'm going to click on create. Now what I'm going to do, let me, uh, I'm going to read range only. I'm going to copy all the activities which I have done in the read range activity. Let me copy this Excel scope. I'm pasting that one over here in this drop activity of the for each. Now let me do some modifications over here. What I'm going to do after reading the data by using read range, then I'm going to store in the var data table output, correct? Now I want to read the data, okay? Let me delete or write range all these things which I don't require for the time being. Now what I'm going to do, let me go to activities. I'm going for the for each row. If you see over here, under data table, you can find for each row. But here the for each is different for the for each row. I want to read the data of the data table which we have got the output by using read range. Now if you can see, execute an action once for each row in data table provided. Okay, now if you see where we can find for each, in programming, under programming, that will find data table. Under data table, you are having for each row. Let me drag and drop on my panel. Now you can see the properties of for each row. We are having the common properties. That is the display name. Display name, we are having the for each row. If you want to change it, you can go ahead and you can change it. You can see the input for these for each row activity. The input is the data table. Okay, so the data table is the input for that one. Okay, and then what I'm going to say already in the previous session, we have given the data table as an output where data table of output. That is the input for, for each, right? Now what I'm going to do, let me click on, where, let me select that where data table output. Okay, let me double click on that and then click on enter. So this is the input for for each row by using the read range we got the output of our data table output now if you see i'm hanging the output right so now what will happen if you see over here my data table consists of uh, from which one from a1 to h15 right how it will be a1 is here and h15 is till this data right so this is this is stored in the data table right now i want to read each and every row i'm using for each row it is going to be read each and every row and then it is going to be storing in the format of uh, you know innumerable format 
or rows format it is going to be storing now if you see the output it's the index base it will be starting from zero uh, in such a way of each and every row that i'm going to read it from this one and the row it will be stored it will fetch it out from the row and the row will come as the first row so it will start from zero like i will show you how it is let me drag and drop the message box over here to show the output okay now the output is that if you see each and every row it is going to be looping in the excel right so it will start from the student this is in excel it will come as one so we don't have indexing in the excel but it has the numeric one whereas in the coding you are having the starts with the indexing from zero okay as i have shown you this will be stored from indexing zero so the output will be starting like row of zero okay so this one will come as row of zero row of one row of two row of three row of four row of five row of six and row of seven up to here if you're giving row of eight it will give us a indexing like out of index it will be shows as an error let me go ahead let me do that so I, each and every row that i'm going to read it right now how can i go ahead and that now if you see over here for each row right this is the row row of as i said zero is the student name that is the header one right so i'm going to converting into dot two string the con uh, i'm converting and then i'm going to save it okay now let me explain you again in the previous session we have already used read range by using read range i'm going to you know from the starting cell of a1 to h15 i'm going to store in the data table with the name of our data table to read the data in the previous session i have not shown the output because i have directly gone to right cell right range okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to read the data which we had in the data table that is i'm going to read by using for each row every row that i'm going to read it by using for each row if you see over here where data table output is the i'm going to read it from there for each row i'm going to read it every row that what i'm going to do i'm going to display row of 0.2 string the output will be like that student name amir and then so on up to hari this is the output what we will get it okay now let me go ahead let me run this now if you see the bot has been started now if you see over here the amir has been given right what about the student i have given from a1 to h15 right let me stop it over here i will give you some more over here what is the reason for you know it is not giving the headers now if you see over here read range add headers will be there i have selected this one right so if you see this add headers if i'm going to select add headers it is not considering as a row now let me go ahead let me unselect this one now if you see add headers has been uh, unchecked now let me go ahead let me run the bot once again now if you see i don't have any headers that's the mean i don't have any headers that's the reason i'm going to get it as student name so one two three and all these different different names because of row of zero that i have given it right and the remaining uh, columns i have not mentioned in the message box now let me go ahead i'm going to add some more values over here right now what i'm going to do i'm going to concatenating with some class and then i'm going to say it the value of row of one i will give it as one because of already row of one is there right now i'm going to concatenate again plus okay and then i'm going to concatenating with the class okay as we know this one you know this is the class that's the reason i have given the string as class let me go ahead let me run it now if you see student name and class class i got it okay but fine now if you see the second one amir class one teja class one teja all these things that we got it as an output now we will learn how to read the data table data by using headers like you know if you see i'm going to add the headers over here like you know in the data table also i will get it headers like hindi english student name all these things so that i don't want to 
write it with the names of you know row of zero of two string class row of one now how can i go ahead and read that so for that you need to add the header that is the reason where you are having add headers now let me go ahead and add headers now what i'm going to do i'm not going to call with indexing with zero one two three like that now i will call directly with the uh, names which we have mentioned now let me show you that i'm just going to row of student name i'm just going to give student name over here and then i'm just going to give the class row of zero in the row of zero i'm going to give it as class okay so how this names that i'm going to get it over here if you see in my excel that i'm having student name over here and the class okay let me give some coloring over here so that you can understand now you can see student name class which i have given over here the same names i'm going to mentioning over here also while you are going to fetch the data okay let me save it now let me run it now you can see amir and the class one is the same thing that what we got it so what is the use of this one if you don't know the indexing of the uh, particular column or whatever it may be if you don't remember if you want to call with the name directly by the column name you can go ahead and, and you can call by using directly with the column names and let me show you some more example i don't know any name right so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to concatenate with row of i will say simply social social is the class name which i have but if you don't mention add headers then it won't be considered over here okay so i'm just giving social over here let me uh, save this bot and then let me run it okay now if you see concatenating is missing okay fine no worries plus row okay so dot to string i have to convert into so because of it has to convert into uh, string and then let me go ahead if you don't have double quotes also there is no problem but still i have i have to give some space over here to understand okay let me go ahead let me run this now if you see the output i got it as amir class one and social i have given directly marks that's the reason i got it 94 if i go ahead and click it you can see over here 94 87 88 and all these things that you will get it one by one this is how you are going to read the data by using for each row activity in the data table i hope you understand how to use for each row activity in this session thank you for watching your past tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day